man talk for himself. <laughs> See how this works. Okay, there we go. It's a little funky, sorry about that. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Man Bartlett. In case you're like, kind of like, what? Um, it's short for Emmanuel. So man is a nickname. I gave it to myself when I was nine years old because I just thought Emmanuel wasn't cool enough, so I just went with man. So uh, I, I have to tell you as we start, I, um, since I've started this project, like the way that I typically approach things, um, I get very much in my head, and so it, like the, the gears all kind of start rolling and going, and I'm thinking a lot, and I've been upstairs kind of all day, hunched over, like looking at my laptop, so this is a fun experiment to like come out and talk to a group of people. Um, so a lot of my work deals with um, and interacts with social media, and my background is in theater, but I actually left the theater around 2005 and got started getting jobs in web technology, doing web design, internet marketing, all types of stuff around that uh, time in my life. And then around 2007, I started making visual art, very traditional drawings, collage, um, and uh, these hideously ugly paintings. And um, <laughs> that landed me in New York doing uh, visual art as well as um, a, a job at a, at a startup. So I approach everything that I'm kind of looking at as this like, just looking around, like what can you notice in the details of a space, what can you notice in the expressions of people, and then how do you communicate that to a broader audience. And so part of what is happening right now is I'm interpreting the information that I'm getting from uh, people online regarding diabetes. And it's something that I personally had very little, like, um, uh, had very little awareness of before I started this project and very little personal experience with. Um, but since I've been looking into it, it's pretty like, it's, I don't know how many, actually just, how many people here know someone with diabetes? Like, holy cow, right? That's a lot of people. We're talking like a super serious epidemic in this country and in the world. Um, and so how do we approach thinking about it? And how do we develop um, a platform where we can do something that empowers uh, people to, to live their lives better? And so Thrive 365, who I'm partnering with, um, and, and I'm consulting with, has this kind of like Weight Watchers type score system for your food. And so you uh, tally up your score over the course of a day, and it tells you um, how you're doing, and you track that over time. And so this number is a very easy way, if you've got diabetes, to kind of check in with how you're doing. And because it can be incredibly overwhelming if you're out in the world and you're looking at all the options that you have. So part of my job is to identify how do we reach the broadest audience possible. And so because a lot of my background is in uh, the internet, um, I decided to develop this online survey, which is kind of like using a lot of the vernacular of like the internet art and kind of like goofy, but um, fun, but also very serious. And so a lot of what I'm doing is, is kind of right in between that line of, um, is, it, is it just fun? Is it serious? Like, where does this actually exist? And how can you engage people that like may not even care about this topic at all? And while at the same time engaging people who if their life actually depends on um, these types of platforms to make their lives more livable. Um, so I'll just run quickly through some of the slides here. And so like one way of approaching it is like, what is your age? And, and you probably, probably can't see it, but we know your spirit is timeless. Um, and so just trying to kind of like work and ply apart a little bit these like usually very boring surveys that we might have to fill out. And, and while at the same time like making it very human. Um, and trying to connect to people on a personal level through a very impersonal medium of, uh, such as the internet. Um, and just another one, you can't see here, but those fingers all kind of like point down, you know, sort of just tr like trying to encourage you along throughout this process. Um, so I'm, I'm looking at how, how you can balance, again, this kind of very um, serious issue. And, and, and the numbers are, are like, they're, they're really insane. We're looking at the 2012 numbers are 86 million people with prediabetes in this country and 29.1 million people with uh, a form of diabetes, type 1 or type 2. So if you extrapolate those numbers out, the estimates are if we continue on this current trend, you're talking about one in every three people in 2050 having diabetes. So like... This storm is like here and it's coming. So how do we like how do we get people thinking about it in, in different ways? And so that's how I'm trying to approach this from like um, someone of my generation or younger as well. So one of the things that we did uh, that that uh, Leo approached me to take o over their uh, Twitter feed for a day. So I decided to use it to kind of have some fun with some of these numbers and uh, and just these issues that I've been thinking about and looking at. And part of the way, as part of my process, I've been riding around uh, Louisville, like taking photos. So that's just kind of 
um, a, a collage of a lot of different things that I've seen recently. And um, so I asked people, you know, what are, you know, just to tell me a little bit about their stories. I don't know if you can read that. But I got some really amazing responses from people online. Um, and so part of what I'm doing is I'll use these responses to help um, to, to change this uh, survey that I'm developing and to really make it responsive to what people actually need. And, but again, in a very human way, in a way that's also maybe a little bit more fun and interesting and uh, approachable. Um, okay, so that's all I'll say about that for now. So just very quickly, because I'm sure we're running low on time. Um, I've been having a lot of fun also thinking about what is the visual representation of um, a, a lot of different things, like heady issues or just topics that are coming up. And one of the things that I did is I created this Twitter bot, which, so anytime you tweet, and actually, probably right now, I work, but you can't see it. Um, I created so that if anyone posts an Instagram photo with the hashtag Hulu or a tweet with the hashtag Hulu, a light upstairs goes on and off. Yeah. And so you're kind of like visually representing um, an, an intangible kind of action that normally happens online that we don't see. Um, and so just trying to think of different ways to visualize data is another way that I'm approaching this. And if you head upstairs later, and I'll show you some images as I talk about it. Um, I made these images um, based off of a, an image in the public domain of sugar, of sugar cubes. And so I zoomed in on each of them and kind of like took them into Photoshop, had fun with them, had my way with them, um, and then blew them up really big as engineer prints um, and put them on the wall. Oh, shit. Okay. Thank you.